The modern world stops for no one. In these fast-paced times, mankind is constantly trying to surpass itself. Everyone is in a race to have the perfect life. But with every step the world takes forward, there are some things that get left behind, go unnoticed or get forgotten because no one cares enough to stop and take a look back. We at Inactus SRCC are on a mission, a mission to revisit our forgotten roots and throw a light on the unnoticed. So with a head for business and a heart for the world, we embark upon a journey to revive our lost heritage. My name is Muhammad Asif Khan and I am a Gurari Agarigar. This is my work of food, but because of the marketing, it was done by the work of the work. I was a worker of myself, but I am thankful that my work of the work of the team has been done by the work of the work of the work. This is one among the seven million stories of our carnivores, who were once the custodians of India's rich cultural heritage but are now being rendered helpless in the face of modernization and mechanization. So, to mitigate the plight of our artisans and revive India's lost legacy, we started Project Virasar. The first step of our endeavor began in the narrow lanes of Jandiala Guru, home to the only Indian handicraft included in UNESCO's list of intangible heritage, the 30-hour craft. Beginning our intervention under an SAG named Pittal, in three years we were able to sustain it into a brand with its presence in over 24 e-commerce websites across eight countries, generating an annual revenue of more than Rs. 8 crores. Sustainability of Pittal was not the end. It was the beginning of a revolution that truly defined the spirit of Vocal for Local. We started our initiative by intervening in three craft forms, beginning with Gora Craft, a trademark of the stone workers of Gorahari, Agra and Varanasi. The soft and multicolored Gora Pathar, found exclusively in Uttar Pradesh, is what sets this craft apart. Then, from Vikanir, we have the Ustakala, a centuries-old craft of pure gold embossing. The heart-forming Nakashi that can be found on monuments like the Nizamuddin Ali Darga, Ajmer Darga and Jodhpur Palace hold a mirror to the glorious past of Pustha. Nathwara is home to the Pichwai paintings, whose artists have devoted generations in the service of Sri Nathji. The artists spend anywhere from three months to one year on a painting, handcrafting each offering made to their lord, who is believed to be an avatar of Lord Krishna. Despite the cultural significance of these craft forms, they face many challenges like internal conflicts, shortage of tools, outdated designs, lack of working capital and exploitation by middlemen. To overcome these, we have come up with a simple and comprehensive business model. We begin by conducting extensive research to understand the problems faced by each craft firm. This is followed by the formation of self-help groups to unify artisans and increase their bargaining power. We then revamp the outdated designs with the help of professional designers to provide contemporary choices to our consumers. To ensure the holistic development of our artisans, we conduct skill enhancement workshops and equip them with better tools. With an aim to provide a one-stop destination for our products and establish market linkages, we launched the Virasat website. Today, Virasat has a presence in 15 e-commerce sites and multiple national and international stores. We also participate in exhibitions and trade fairs to generate demand. We have introduced the Virasat app for the artisans to easily update designs, track orders and analyze their revenues. We have also collaborated with Ship Rocket and Delivery to ensure strong logistical support. To showcase the glory of Indian craft culture and expand our market reach, we organized the Virasat Craft Conclave. Through our panel discussions with the heads of Okai, Tata Trusts, Dastakar and Fab India, we raised awareness on various issues in the craft sector. We were also supported by pop icons like Kailash Kher and Mame Khan. Hence, we were able to generate an 800% increase in social media traction, 6 lakh media impressions and a 100% rise in sales. Our efforts to revive the craft forms of India have been lauded by the governments of Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Madhya Pradesh. Being a recipient of the World Trade Center Award, we were invited by the Ministry of MSME to disperse Rs 10 crores in Gujarat for the revival of Kala Cotton and Leather Craft Clusters, 
impacting more than 500 artisans. Through our interventions, we have revived four dyeing craft forms, increasing the income of 91 craftsmen by more than 225 percent. We have also created jobs for 110 people while generating revenues of rupees 19.2 lakh and profits of more than 4 lakh rupees. But we do not stop here. In the coming year, we will further our vision of making Virasat an umbrella organization by bringing four more craft firms under its ambit. We also aim to expand into 15 retail outlets and 26 e-commerce platforms, generating a total revenue of 55.7 lakhs and impacting 250 artisans by 2023. Virasat, what is it for you? विश्वास तेज की किरण विकास सहारा मेरा अभिमान वी नाउ प्रेजेंट प्रोजेक्ट लहर देयर इज वन अर्थ एंड देयर आर बिलियंस ऑफ अस बिलियंस ऑफ अस हु माइंडलेसली लिटर दिस ब्यूटीफुल प्लैनेट बट इवन अमंग ऑल द काइंड्स ऑफ वेज दैट वी थ्रो अवे वन होल्ड्स द ड्यूबियस ऑनर ऑफ बीइंग द वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट लिटर आइटम द सीक्रेट पार्ट It is made from cellulose acetate, a microplastic, and contains more than seven thousand toxins. Alarmingly, we throw six point three trillion butts every year, and a day's worth of it is enough to cover the entire Earth's circumference ten point seven times. This litter will eventually end up in our oceans, with a single butt toxifying more than five hundred liters of water. Otherwise, it will pollute our surroundings, inhibiting plant growth and inciting forest fires. While smoking kills 4 lakh 80 thousand people, the hazards caused by irresponsibly stubbed cigarette butts lead to a staggering 2.35 million deaths every year. The best solution is for humans to simply stop smoking, but that is a far-fetched dream. Hence, to bring about a first of its kind solution to cigarette waste management, we started Project Leher. As the first step, we conducted a comprehensive analysis to understand cigarette waste generation pan India. Realizing the lack of alternatives and awareness to stub properly, we came up with our own interactive bins to increase responsible stubbing. These bins are set up at offices, cafes, bars and public spaces to sensitize people and maximize waste collection. We also collect industrial level cigarette waste and through this multifaceted mechanism we have built a sustainable supply chain throughout the country. Once we collect the waste we transport it to our warehouse where we employ underprivileged women to segregate the cigarette butt waste into two parts paper and plastic. The paper present in the cigarette butts is recycled into packaging material for our products. Then we make various utility products from the plastic thus making leher a zero waste model after segregation the plastic needs to be detoxified through medical grade gamma radiation a proprietary technology developed through our synergic collaborations with latimer school london and shriram institute for industrial research the detoxified waste then reaches uttamnagar asia's largest potters colony Here the waste is mixed with clay to make utility products which increases their tensile strength and decreases furnishing requirements thus reducing carbon emissions Leveraging the growing market for sustainable products, we created a steady demand for our merchandise by listing them on Leher's own website, various sustainable stores, and zero waste shops. The option to customize our products gave them a distinctive and personal touch, allowing us to expand our reach and get orders worth rupees 13.6 lakhs. We were also able to create a unique market for our products by recycling the cigarette waste that we collected from cafes and restaurants. into utility products and selling it back to them for further collection thus completing our circular economy the pandemic caused supply chain disruptions worldwide turning this challenge into an opportunity we started the bud brigade a doorstep cigarette waste collection service enabling everyone to recycle their cigarette waste in a hassle free manner to create awareness about the hazard of cigarette butt waste we conducted beach cleanups seminars and 24 hour collection drives in collaboration with Butrush, Rikshit Foundation and UNDP. 
Through these IEC activities, we sensitized over 5 lakh people, collected 2100 kgs of waste and created 7 lakh 20000 media impressions. Leher's impactful journey was showcased at the prestigious UNCOP26 last year and we also received a letter of recommendation from the Global Climate Innovation Hub at Dalberg. Our efforts to save the environment have been appreciated by Dia Mirza, the UN Environment Goodwill Ambassador and Mr. Bhupendra Yadav, Union Cabinet Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Through Leher's innovative business model, we have recycled over 18.5 million cigarette butts thereby preventing 9.3 million cubic meters of oceanic pollution and 16,900 kgs of microplastic pollution just this year. Our business has created jobs for 56 people, directly impacting 198 lives while generating revenues of 17.2 lakhs and enabling cost savings of 2.1 crores. Through extended producer responsibility partnerships with cigarette manufacturers, we will expand to over 96 locations worldwide by 2023, thereby sensitizing 15 lakh people and saving millions of life forms below water. We are currently working on diversifying our range of terracotta products and introducing new value chains like cushions, furniture, bricks and cement as well as plastic extrusion, increasing our revenue to 36 lakh rupees by next year. The world may be in a blind race, but we have a vision. A vision to transform the lives of those left behind. To solve the gravest of problems ailing our society. We believe we are harbingers of hope. In redefining India. With our communities being our true heroes. As catalysts of change, we see. We create. We strive. We empower. We are in active SRCC.